So we're here today at Walmart. We have Hurricane Dorian coming in to all the Florida residents and people on the Atlantic coast in the Southeast region. And for anybody watching this video for the first time, we wanna go ahead and show you guys what we would do if we were in the hurricane by building our survival kit. One of the most important things you're gonna to wanna to do, is they're obvious, is food and water. So we're actually gonna go down to the aisles and kinda of show you how I would prepare for a family of four for six to 14 days at a time. So the big thing is gonna be water. It's gonna be at a premium with flood rises and storm surges. Stores getting cleared out. You're gonna have thousands and thousands of people rushing to your same Target and Walmart in Lowe's and places like that, preparing, doing the same exact thing. So now keep in mind, macro preps for your home in a hurricane situation. You're gonna to wanna to board up your house, two by fours, nice furniture grade plywood, and also sandbags to help mitigate any issues you may have. Obviously, if you don't have flood insurance, that's something you should have done beforehand, but that's something you can worry about now. However, we're not worried about that. We're worried about taking care of your immediate family because you can replace a house, you can't replace your loved ones. So water is gonna be super, super important. And you wanna make sure that you have enough for six to 14 days. Because in the initial onset of a hurricane, at a hurricane three, uh, category three, four, or five, it's extremely dangerous because like I said, it shuts things down and wipes things out. So when the grid goes down because the power is out from storm surges and hurricanes, if you're choosing to ride it out, even if you evacuate, buy food, have it ready. So things like bread, peanut butter, beef jerky, ready to eat items that you do not have to need a microwave or a stove or an oven for, for any reason is gonna be good because you have meals ready to eat and keep calories in your system, keep your morale up, energy up, and having those things set aside. Now, is it okay to get canned food and be ready if you can evacuate or if you got any propane burners? Sure, but for those who are just running out of the stores and trying to get as much as they can, understand, try to be patient, but there are gonna be tens of thousands of people trying to grab the same loaves of bread, peanut butter, and water, just like you. So understand that and trying to be proactive is really important, which is what we stress here on our channel. Now that I have my one to two week supply of food all set and ready to go, we're actually gonna be heading down to other parts of the store to show you other items, not food and water that you need for a hurricane for one to two weeks at a time. First item is stormproof matches, emergency first aid, waterproof containers for vital documents, Flashlights and plenty of batteries. My suggestion are common use batteries like AAA, AA, and C batteries. Next is actually tarps. Now this is for after the hurricane because even when the hurricane's over, you're not gonna be able to run to the store because all the stuff's gone or they closed the Walmart. So having tarps to patch up holes, seal things up, cover things up, protect your belongings, whatever's left, all that good stuff, super important. A possibly not so obvious one are whistles. If you ever get stuck in your home or on top of a roof because of severe flooding, in addition to flashlights, you can use whistles to pierce through the raging winds to hopefully flag down help to get rescued when emergency responders arrive. Now for the bulk of the list for things you would pick up at Walmart, this is about it. Now there will be some specific things like extra clothes, blankets, diapers, hygiene products, that are gonna be very specific to you and your family's needs if you have a loved one, pets, small young children, things like that. But all I can say is overall, a good six to 14 day kit is gonna be extremely important. But something I thought was pretty incredible while I was here last night, which would spur this video given the fact that Hurricane Dorian is a very real threat to uh, our brothers and sisters on the East Coast, is Walmart Radio actually gave a broadcast telling people to actually get prepared in advance of the storm, which I thought was awesome how mainstream prepping is becoming, and we'll play that clip for you now. Please uh, be patient with, uh, with the, our associates. Uh, associates, be patient with our customers. We have tensions can get high, limited stock, uh, long lines, those sort of things happen during this, you know, during times like this. It just, it, it's inevitable, it's what can happen. So uh, if you have any questions though, customers in our store, be sure to ask member management and they might be able to, uh, to help you out um, and let you know when the next shipment of water might be coming in or whatever it may be. And those teams downstairs the emergency operations center, they are working so hard to get as much water out as possible. We're pulling water from all over the country trying to get water down there for those associates and members. So it's just a, a lot of work that goes on. Uh, you're right, patience is, is huge. 
Uh, sometimes I get a little grumpy at EOC, sometimes I bring you by a cookie and sit on my desk just to help remind me to, to take a break and, and uh, calm down just a little bit. So patience goes a long way, but I think now is really the time to think about what do I do uh, if I'm told to evacuate from be without power for three days. Don't forget about your pets too, you gotta do something with them. But in there to keep it cold. Uh, we are really doing a lot to be prepared now. A hurricane's always a disaster, there will always be problems, but we're doing a lot to be prepared for this. And one of the things that we rolled out last year was our mobile pharmacy. And I that was pretty on my social media, survival, prepping, being ready for natural disasters, job loss, economic crisis, diseases, all the things that are that happen in our country around the world, from world economies collapsing, governments falling apart, um, floods, natural disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes. Uh, it's kind of crazy and kind of cool seeing how mainstream prepping is becoming, that even Walmart radio is telling people to be patient, prep, have five, six, seven, eight days worth of food and water, flashlights, batteries, uh, come up with a plan to take care of your pets, letting people know that they're gonna be trying to roll out uh, pharmacies, they're gonna be trying to get uh, information about storm surges for the category three and category four hurricanes coming out. It's really cool to see how like not crazy you really are. You kind of feel like you're nuts sometimes when you are trying to prep and you see every, and you're the only one doing it. And then all of a sudden, something like this happens and all of a sudden government agencies, stores, retail stores are reaching out and trying to get people ready for these types of events. And it's it's pretty cool to see that just being by a little more proactive in your daily life, you can kind of just be ahead of the curve. So when 40,000 people in your county are rushing to Walmarts and Targets and pharmacies to try to stock up before a hurricane because they weren't prepping in advance, you're already ready to go. You can grab your evacuation bag, do whatever you gotta do and you're already good to go. So in all that actually covers the basics. Now, if you want a comprehensive written guide that you can actually pull from, we're actually gonna drop a link down in the video description of a top 20 list that I would suggest that I actually pretty much agree with for a hurricane preparedness, especially for Dorian gonna be hitting in the next few days. Now remember, like I said, be safe, be patient. For all of my subscribers who follow my channel who are in the affected areas, our prayers go out to you guys and everyone else. But hopefully you guys are prepared for when Hurricane Dorian hits and when Ambulance passes us by, that's an ideal situation. But if it doesn't, follow your local laws, evacuate if you need to, don't try to ride it out like you're uh, Wyatt Earp. It's not a safe thing to do. But hopefully this list gives you an idea of some of the things that you should be doing for any type of natural disaster or economic collapse.